What's for dinner? It's just one of those days. Ooh, like I'm saying a whole bunch of stuff that don't make no sense. Oh my God. Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and welcome back to my channel, Chef Z Cooks. Today I'm going to be sharing all of my favorite small kitchen appliances. Now recently here on my channel, I share my favorite top five favorite pots and pans, followed by my favorite kitchen gadgets and tools. Now you guys really love those videos and requested that I share my recommendations for small kitchen appliances. Now before we jump into this video, I do want to say a couple of things. Number one, do not feel pressured to run out and buy all of the products that I'm going to be featuring. However, if any one of them catches your eye and you're interested, I will have them linked down below. I also have a working relationship with a lot of the brands that you're going to be seeing in today's video and they have sent me some of these products over the years. However, this video is not sponsored and all the thoughts, views, and recommendations are entirely my own. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first product that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is my Ninja Foodi pressure cooker and air fryer. Now, I love this small kitchen appliance for a variety of different reasons. Number one, it's a pressure cooker, and number two, it's an air fryer. And over the last 18 months, I have gone crazy about air frying everything. I just think it's a quick and convenient way of getting dinner on the table. Now, you guys have seen me use this device in a couple of videos. You guys have seen me use the air fryer function when I made my chicharrona de pollo, which is essentially some Dominican style fried chicken, but in the air fryer. And you guys have actually seen me use the pressure cook function when I made my easy carne guisada video, which I will link down below. Now, I love the Ninja brand. It's a brand that never fails me. And they have a couple of different versions of this air fryer. And again, I will have those linked down below. Now, I do want to give out an honorable mention to the Ninja Foodi Grill. I love that thing. However, I like this one a little bit more simply because I find myself needing to pressure cook and air fry at the same time. And I find that it's really important to have a device that does more than one thing. However, again, honorable mention to the Ninja Foodi Grill, which I use in my air fryer salmon video. And the reason why I like that one is because the mechanism is a little bit different and you can open it just like a grill and I actually have that one stored in my apartment. All right, on to the next product. Okay, so the next product that I actually wanna to talk to you guys about is my rice cooker. And let me tell you guys something. I actually have a whole lot to say about this thing. Number one, it's super light, it's durable, and I have to say, it's also very economical. I bought this bad boy for about 20, 30 bucks at Target, and it's honestly not fancy at all because I know that rice cookers are a whole situation. Some of them talk to you, they have different levels. This one is as easy as it gets, and it gets the job done, and it's actually perfect. And it's honestly one of my unexpected favorites. We have the rice cooker entirely because of my husband one day we were shopping and he goes you know what i think we need a rice cooker in the house and i was like e como? like no i make my rice on the stove okay yeah okay let me tell you guys something this gets the job done one two three and i think i actually featured this in my cook with me sunday dinner pork chops so if you guys want to see this rice cooker in action i highly recommend that you check that video out and if you're skeptical about a rice cooker because let's face it i didn't grow up watching my grandmother use a rice cooker so i was like mm, i don't know trust me it's a lifesaver time saver and did i mention it's also very easy to clean Okay, so for the next one, I wanna share my Ninja 3-in-1 Blender. Now, I honestly love this thing. I have had it for like six or seven years. I'm surprised I haven't broken it, honestly, because when I tell you this device is in heavy rotation here in my kitchen, and I specifically love it because it's a blender, food processor, and I can even make smoothies with it. Now, you guys have seen me use these a bunch of different times. I use the blender blender when I made my abichuela con dulce. This one I recently used in my updated sofrito video. 
Not sure if you're gonna see this video or that video, but definitely check it out if you haven't already. And I actually have never shown myself using the smoothie option, and that's because I use it all the time in the morning for myself. And again, I just love the fact that it has various different attachments, so it does different things. So it's almost like I have three different small appliances in one, which I totally love. And this one in particular is by Ninja, and I love it because I feel like, again, the quality is there, the power is there, and the durability because when I tell you as good as I am with taking care of my stuff sometimes I'm super super rough with it so the fact that it can survive me is saying a whole lot all right let's go on to the next product Okay, so this next product I'm super excited about because I absolutely love it. And it is my KitchenAid stand mixer. Now, one of the things that you guys don't know is that I actually bake quite a bit. And I even went back to school to improve my baking and my pastry skills. And one of the things that I want to do a lot more of is actually showcasing that side of me a little bit more here on my channel. So definitely give this video a huge thumbs up and comment below if you would like to see me bake a a lot more now this in particular I love because of the color the durability and its strength and you guys have actually seen me use this quite a bit on my Instagram so I will include some photos of some of my cake creations and also here on my channel I believe I use this in my Swiss meringue recipe video oh my goodness that was years ago so I think it's definitely time that I start baking here on my channel now here's the thing when it comes to a stand mixer I believe Again, in my personal opinion, I think that you should get a stand mixer that truly reflects your personality. They come in so many different colors, and I always recommend that you get one that matches your kitchen decor and one that speaks to you. Because for me, not only is it a functional tool, but I also like to use it as a decor item, and I have it on my countertop. It's actually the only small kitchen appliance that I like to feature prominently because of the burst of color, and honestly, it's just one of the things that brings me joy. So if you're interested in a KitchenAid mixer, I'll link it down below, and just know that there are different sizes that you can get that will fit the size of your kitchen. Now on to the next one. Okay, so another product I actually wanna to talk to you guys about is my KitchenAid hand immersion blender. Now I absolutely love this thing and this is a tool that not a lot of people actually have in their kitchen and it's understandable because it is a hand mixer and so I actually have a regular blender which does a lot of the same things and because of the different attachments that this guy comes with which I featured right here behind me this also does a lot. Now hear me out as to why it is that I love this tool. The stand mixer is very powerful so that's definitely going to get the job done. This isn't as powerful however if you are someone who loves your morning avena, like my Dominican style avena, or if you're somebody who really likes like a creamy soup, like my sopa de aoyama, this tool is definitely for you. Now, one of the other reasons why I love a hand immersion blender is because I don't have to dirty another set of dishes. So when you're using a regular blender, obviously you're gonna cook whatever it is that you're cooking and then you have to put it into the blender and that's one extra dish that you have to clean at the end of the night. Whereas with this guy, you're cooking whatever it is that you want to cook, you set it in there, and you blend away, and that's pretty much it, and all you have to clean is this guy right here, which is super easy to clean. Now, because it's by KitchenAid, I definitely got the similar color as my stand mixer, just to kind of keep everything cohesive, but you can definitely get whatever color matches your kitchen decor and your personality. Now hold on for a second, I actually wanna show you guys a really cool thing. So these are all of the attachments that it actually comes with. And one of the things that I absolutely love is that it already comes organized with everything. So it comes with its own little, its own little casita, so its own little storage unit. And one of the things that's really, really big for me in my kitchen and my limited space is organization. So it's great to have a tool that already comes pretty organized. So if you're interested in a hand immersion blender or if you're somebody who really likes soups, I definitely recommend that you give it a thought and I'll have it linked down below. And now on to the next one. 
Okay, so this next product is one that I have actually never featured here on my channel, and that is a sous vide. Now, a sous vide is pretty much a method of cooking where you vacuum seal whatever it is that you're cooking, whether it's some pork chops, steaks, or even veggies and potatoes, and then you submerge them underwater in a bin, and then this device will keep the temperature constant so that the food cooks absolutely perfect. Now, comment down below and let me know if you guys wanna see me use use this thing in action because I actually use it quite a bit. Let me tell you guys something. You have never had the perfect steak until you have sous vide it and then either use the blowtorch, which I featured in my favorite kitchen gadgets video, or if you throw it onto the grill. In fact, it's one of my biggest cooking hacks and this is something that I actually use quite a bit in the summertime because hear me out, I'm about to put you guys onto so much game. Say you're having a large barbecue and you have a ton of steaks and a ton of pork chops. One of the things that I absolutely love doing is vacuum sealing them, sous vide them so that they're done. Because once that sous vide gets it to the perfect temperature, let me tell you something, it's ready to go. And all you have to do is give it some color. So whenever I'm hosting a large barbecue, it's really great to just have all the steaks ready to go. And then all my husband has to do is throw it onto the grill for a couple of minutes to get a nice sear and a color on the outside and it is ready to go. So it saves me huge time. It locks in flavor because that's another big thing that the sous vide actually does. And it makes the texture just melt in your mouth. Delicious. So we have two more products products to show and let's go ahead and get those going. Okay, so for my next favorite small kitchen appliance, we're going a little bit old school, guys. I love my handy dandy Greca. Now listen, I know that you can get super fancy when it comes to an espresso maker, but for me, nothing tastes better than just a stove top Greca. Comment down below if you disagree, I'll fight you on it, just kidding, but seriously. Like in the morning, un chin de cafe with a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon, and some almond milk cream. You know, this is a no dairy household over here. <laughs> I honestly love it. I can't go without it. And it's funny because I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but when I have my coffee, I wanna make sure that it's really, really good. And it's just made the old school way. Like it's tried and true and I absolutely love it. I'll link a few that I have below because I actually collect quite a few of these. Are you surprised? I have a little red number to go with some of the other <laughs> red products that I have. You guys can catch a theme. And now we have my last product that I wanna talk about, which might come as a surprise, especially after this whole thing right here. Okay, so last but certainly not least, I wanna talk to you guys about my Ninja Dual Brew Coffee System. Now you guys are probably like, hold up, run it back. Didn't you just tell us how much you love a stove top Greca? What is this coffee maker? Now hear me out, okay? This machine does so much more than brew coffee and it's precisely for all of its other functions that I absolutely love this machine. So my husband and I are actually really big tea drinkers and this thing has hot water on demand. And not only does it have hot water on demand, you can also have boiling hot water like that. So if you love making oatmeal, or even if you like making a quick ramen soup, this thing is amazing and you don't have to dirty any dishes. Another reason why I like it is because you can make a huge carafe, just like you see right here, or you can actually make individual cups because it has a stand that comes down and you can brew like your individual tea or coffee. And I will say, if you are a coffee drinker, you can actually do grounds and you can do the pods because it's compatible with both. But another reason I love this machine is for this guy right here. It actually has a milk frother attached to it, and I'm someone who makes my coffee on the stove, but every now and then I wanna get a little fancy, and I wanna froth up my almond milk creamer, and it is so delicious, and you just feel like you're having like a coffee house experience just in your home. And I will say that I never thought that I was going to like this as much as I do, but my husband and I actually use it several times a day. Now, if you like this video and all the other videos that I've been sharing lately, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know which video you'd like to see me make next. And until next time, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho.